So what you doing over here, Paul? Working. <laughs> My friends at Lifted Media, Greg Ekman, who I've worked with in the past on a project for Margaritaville Resorts, as well as a bunch of other things, has invited me and Winston to join them on a shoot with a company called Coasting Thunder. Coasting Thunder travels around the world testing out roller coasters and amusement parks and adventure parks. And it was an awesome opportunity to combine FPV with what they're doing, you know, riding roller coasters and doing log flume shoots and arcades and all this cool stuff, combining it with FPV. And they allowed me to bring Winston along to tell the behind the scenes, to tell the story of what we have to do to capture all of that. And I was so grateful for the opportunity, not just to go shoot with Coasting Thunder, but also to bring that kind of behind the scenes, that professional environment to you you guys. So for the next few episodes, we have probably five or six different episodes coming out of Coasting Thunder. We're going to see how to chase roller coasters, how to do fly throughs of businesses, how to do some special uh, VFX kinds of things where we're wiping from room to room or doing transitions through doorways. Hopefully we're going to get some cool interviews from the Coasting Thunder team as well as Lifted Media and just use all of this to create some education around how to combine FPV with normal filming, with traditional filming and make some really compelling stuff. So I'm ex so excited about this series to bring you guys along to show you all of the behind the scenes of what we're doing. Be sure to like, subscribe, all of that stuff to follow along for the whole adventure. So gentlemen, we are uh, one drone down. <laughs> the first one I took off with did not come back. Oh, sh yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> no. I, uh, I, well, I went, I kind of went a little bit low. Yeah. And I think that I was getting some interference from the Inspire that oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. And I started to kind of come back up and it just Where totally cut. In the water? It's, uh, it's probably like halfway down this hill. Okay. But like that hill is like unscalable. Well, we saw the size of the, uh, the spiders, so I don't know if you want to go to yeah, climb Yeah. So <laughs> not a, not like literally first flight of the entire friggin' trip. I almost wasn't going to say anything. But yeah, good way to break guys. Uh, I gotta, I gotta own up to it. I, I lost a drone. It's my fourth ever. God! The first part of the trip was to shoot scenics. We wanted to invite people into the city of Branson. and we wanted to show them the area in which we're gonna be doing all of these roller coasters. So we went to as many little scenic spots in Branson as we possibly could find to get all of these beauty shots of the city and the area and the Ozarks. Not only did we use FPV, but we also used some traditional drones to get these establishing shots. We had a Mavic 2, we had an Inspire 2, and then of course, because this is an FPV channel, we had to get some FPV scenics as well. Having the flexibility to use each of these different types of drones, cameras, is what's giving us the flexibility to get a multitude of different kinds of shots as quickly as possible so that we can set up the entire show for Coasting Thunder. Okay, so Winston's running the smart controller with the DJI Mavic up in the air, but so that we don't have to crowd over his controller. Just bring out a second little monitor with HDMI so that we can actually see what's going on and give feedback on the shot without having to just like hover over him, right? Looks good. One of the most iconic scenery in Branson is Chateau on the Lake. It's this beautiful resort that overlooks the Ozarks. So we wanted to get a shot featuring the Chateau in the foreground and the Ozarks in the background because again, that trans ports you to the city of Branson. It brings the audience in. So up here, there's this beautiful chateau. And so we're getting out the Inspire with the long lens because on the backside of this hill are like the Ozarks, like what you picture as like the fingery lake things like with so much coastline. So we're gonna get a cool shot of the kind of steeple and the chateau with the long lens, but also at the same time revealing and parallaxing the uh, lake in the background. So Greg is setting up the Inspire 2. We've kind of scoped up uh, where we can fly over and we're going to capture some pretty cool stuff here from the Inspire. One of the things that I don't like the most about FPV is that you don't get options with lenses and to see uh, long lenses on Inspire just looks so cool because you get this awesome parallax where the front, the foreground item is moving the opposite way of the background and it just looks so cool. So I want to figure out how to do more of that kind of stuff with potentially like longer lens on FPV maybe with like a free fly wave or something slow motion to kind of recreate some of, to try to, 
to try to recreate some of that look. Yes, yes, keep that, keep that, keep it going. Coasting Thunder, Ozark Edition. Nailed it. <laughs> Actually, you know what would be super dope? What's that? Come down to ground level yeah. and tilt up across the trees here. Like it's like flying right across the parking Jeez. lot, but like looking up at it almost. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll go. It went great. I'm uh, pretty excited about that one. Coasting Thunder boys will love that one for sure. So we're in downtown Branson and they kind of had this crazy, like just obscure buildings downtown. And we want to get some shots of it for the video that we're working on, but it, there's a lot of people around. So we're trying to find the gap in which we can fly the city whoop through some of these things, but while safely avoiding people. On this side of the road right now, we got some pretty bizarre stuff. There's not a lot of people around. So we're going to start with this side. We're actually going to cross the road and fly across so that I'm kind of, my body is a little bit obfuscated. Go and get the meatball section down there and the uh, camera with the Canon FD mount right here. So. I think it should be good. We're just waiting for uh, people to clear out. Like, there's been a few segments where this side of the sidewalk totally clear of people. So we're just waiting for a couple families to walk through and then we're gonna go for our shot and just get it, get out. We're not trying to do anything super fancy, just getting enough to kind of establish where we are. Let's see if he has the meatballs for the shot. the money so did you have the meatballs I did have the meatballs I spun around the meatball I went through the meatball over the meatball under the meatball so much balls. there's so much meat so much balls <laughs> so now we're gonna go for Hollywood over here it's gonna be a little bit easier in a way because it's mostly over the roof or at least for uh, King Kong so we just gotta wait make sure that there's nobody around take off get up above and then uh, we should be good to go so what you doing over here Paul working <laughs> If you look right here, there's a line where I can go up kind of the Hollywood and then up over the building to stay around King Kong safely without being in anyone's way. So we're good. This is great. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> That's cool. So like I did this shot where I started like high right of the building and I found a line all the way down through and then as soon as I came to the corner of the building just snapped backwards and pulled away and you can see the Wonderworks sign up there. It looks, it looks pretty cool. You can see everything in the background as well. Feel good about that. Okay, so we're done getting our pickup shots here in the middle of town and now we're gonna meet up with the Coasting Thunder guys at a zip line called Parakeet Pete's and uh, that's gonna be our big shoot for the night. So let's get over there and check it out. Yep. Well, we've uh, we got fed up with uh, Branson, Missouri, and on the way back to the car, decided to take a quick stop through the northern Atlantic to uh, relive a little bit of history. I'll never let go, Nurk. I'll never let go.
came down here. I can't believe they, he did he, it. We, we, he jacked for us? He jacked. Or did he rose? I think he rose. Yeah, it was rose. Let's go with he rose. Whatever. That he wasn't jacking for us at the top of the Titanic. No, my heart is still going to go on though. Okay. They got succulent shepherd's pie at Heroes. Jesus Christ, you get that close? It looks good. Does it? it the We're finally here with the Coasting Thunder crew with uh, working with Lifted Media to capture Parakeet Pete's zip line. So these guys are gonna ride the zip line and we're gonna chase them as close as we can, get some really cool shots. The sun's coming right into the perfect spot. So stoked to see how this is gonna turn out. Let's do this. Yes! <laughs> So that second one, I started along the trees and like right as the second part launched, I got right behind it. And then I kept like cutting in and out so that the sun was like dangling between his feet. So like it just like kept boof, 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 lens flares all over the place. It's pretty sick, I'm stoked. That sun. <laughs> the smile on your face right now is priceless. Dude, I just want you to know. Dude, it's so good. It's now a bad time to mention that I'm afraid of heights. Yeah. Too late. Yes. I'm not going down. I fly drones for a reason. <laughs> I'm gonna, you want to race? You ready to go? You ready to go? Everything that I spent on my ticket. Oh my god. I like. I want to hold on to something. Dude, that looks so nice right now, though. <laughs> ah shit! Oh, what's that? No, oh, that's a drone. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> right, so I got to go for a ride on the uh, zip line. A little scarier than I thought. I'm not that great with heights, if I'm gonna be honest. I fly drones for a reason. At the top, it, it backs up, backs up, backs up, backs up, and then it stops, and then it lurches back again. And the first time I did that, like my belt wasn't like tight, tight. So like I slid forward in my seat a little bit. I just like, Ugh! like I just, my whole body was like, Ugh! but uh, I didn't fall and it was really fun, so success, let's go. We hope that you enjoyed this first episode of our Coasting Thunder FPV filmmaking series. We've got a ton more that we're so excited about, including like chasing roller coasters. I would argue one of the best roller coaster chasing sequences we've ever done, and that you stick along for the rest of the adventure. So be sure to like and subscribe and comment on this video and to this channel, but also check out Coasting Thunder and Lifted Media down in the description below. Also, we showcased a bunch of Nerk.TV merch, so you should check out store.nerk.tv. 
In the meantime, hope that you enjoyed this adventure and stay flying. <laughs> I want you to walk in there and have it like automatically trigger when the door opens and he's just like standing there like <laughs> <laughs>